Hi guys, today in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to generate a report to get information about CyberArk PAM workflow request and approval. This video is only focus on workflow request and approval. First, let's generate an activity. To generate an activity, Paul is going to log into his account and send a connection request to Asenka. Here Paul acts as the system administrator and Asenka acts as his immediate manager. Note that, here Paul mentions the reason for this request which he need to restore the backup on this Linux server. We will see from where this information about reason can grab from activity report for audit requirements. Let's log out from Paul account. Now let's log in as Asenka and approve the connection request to complete the activity. To confirm the activity, go to Accounts and select Incoming Request. Then select the checkbox of Connection Request and click on Confirm. Note here you can mention the reason for approving the request. I just mentioned as confirmed but it's always better to give informative comment in production environments. Now, let's generate an activity report of this workflow process. I use the same account to generate the report. Go to Report section and click on Generate Report. There are two main types of reports as Operational and Audit slash Compliance. To achieve our requirement, let's select Activity Logs under Audit Reports. Select Activity Log and click on Next button on right bottom corner. Now you have directed to filter options. Here we can provide a name to the report, or you can use default. It is always better to provide a custom name to the report to distinguish from other generated reports. I will name it as Workflow Activities. Note that there are quite filter options there, but I'm going to use none. I will do a detailed demonstration on these filters in later video. Now when you scroll to the bottom, you can see there are activities to select. Here, first what I'm doing is deselecting all default selected activities by unsticking code selection box. Then we can select required activities. Let's select all activities under approval workflow. So, we can have some informative report at the end. Next in history section you can select your history requirement. Here for demo, I will only get activity history report for today. With less activities it will generate quickly. Let's click next to go to third section which is report schedule. In here, you can schedule the report as your recurrence requirement. As an example, you can schedule this report to be generated monthly basis. Also, you can add subscribers to the same report. Then you and your subscribers will notify via email when report is generated. I am adding Paul as a subscriber to this report. Now he also can download this report from PVWA. Note that here I haven't select to schedule the report, so this will generate only at once when I click finish button. Let's click on Refresh button to update the status. See, the report has been generated. We can download it as a CSV or Excel file. I have downloaded it as an Excel file. Now I'm going to open this file using Excel application in my workstation. This is the generated report. You can see action of request as get file request. With the time frame you can see our last request here. I have highlighted it. We can find the reason which we earlier mentioned in reason column. Also, we can find other information related to the activity. You can use column filters to filter required activities. It will make easy to find information when there are a lot of activities. 
Let's filter user column to find workflow activities only related to Paul. Deselect others and only select Paul. Like this, you can filter any column for your convenience. That's it from this video. Hope this is informative. We'll see you with another video. If you have any clarifications, let me know in comment section.